Now, one of the opening comments from Google I.O.'s ADK talk was, we want you to open this thing up and hack it. Well, I did. And after that, ain't no one ever going to call me a Google fanboy. Fan maybe, but not fanboy. <laughs> The Google ADK code is probably the worst code I've ever seen in my life. They worked with the Arduino team to develop the IDE for this, and you see the biggest draw of ADK is that it uses Arduino technologies. The ADK 2012 is roughly the same hardware as the Arduino Do, which has just been released recently. You can pick that up and work with it with the Arduino IDE. During the ADK talk at Google I.O. last year, they represented this device, this ADK, as being a hacker-friendly device, something that you would want to pick up, work with, and actually do something with. But you see, I've been looking at this device for a long time, and I've been really wanting to do something with it. And every time I look at the code, I kind of shy back, and you know, I haven't really been able to figure out what it was about the code, until I started looking at the example code guidelines provided by Arduino. You see, they implemented all kinds of irrelevant code into the ADK sketch, the main sketch for it. it it's basically 120 pages of a sketch that just doesn't work in Arduino IDE. Uh, you see, Arduino IDE isn't designed to handle very, very large things. You can't jump from method to method. You can't go back and reference a variable by control clicking something. It, it has to be in a certain order and you have to make your code very very clear in order to use Arduino IDE effectively. For example, they implemented a Bluetooth protocol in the Arduino IDE, which is about half of the sketch. Now we're not just talking about this thing being bad because you know it's so large and really unworkable and all. We're talking about this thing being bad as in they actually violated every single one of the Arduino code example guidelines. I'd like to quote the Arduino guidelines. Efficiency is not paramount. Readability is. Now here we can see the Bluetooth scan example. This code not only starts off with unhelpful comments, but also a snide remark about the Arduino way of doing things. And those are the only comments in the Bluetooth scan example. None of the loops are documented. None of the blocks are documented. Again, let's quote the Arduino guidelines. Think generously about people who know less than you about code. Don't think they should understand some technical concept. They don't. They're not stupid for not understanding. Your code should explain itself, or use comments to do the same. And another guideline, comments every variable or constant declaration with a description of what the variable does. Arduino says to avoid inline if statements. The ADK example code uses inline if statements whenever possible. How about avoid defines? Avoid pointers. One of the biggest problems here is the variable names. Uh, use descriptive variable names. Avoid single letter names. They named the ADK itself L. What does L have to do with anything? I mean, what the L? All right, so now on top of disregarding like almost every single Arduino code guideline and being snide throughout the comments and in the code, they also followed the THC unmaintainable code guidelines. For those of you who aren't familiar with THC unmaintainable code guidelines, there's a website, and I will have it linked down below, that shows you how to write unmaintainable code. Now this tells you exactly how to foil the next guy who comes behind you and tries to modify your code. That's exactly what they did here. Now, to quote from the THC Unmaintainable Code Guidelines, You don't want to overdo this. Your code should not look hopelessly unmaintainable, just be that way. Otherwise, it stands the risk of being rewritten or refactored. Single letter variable name. Acronyms. Document the obvious. Document only what the program does, not why it's doing what it does. Bloated classes, it makes looking for methods and variables like finding a guitar pick in a landfill. Now that is probably one of the biggest problems with the ADK 2012. And we could keep on going on, but you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I put entirely too much work into this and trying to get this little clock button here to change between the XDA scroller that we did a few episodes ago and this mode uh, here where it becomes just a standard clock. Now, 
I it took all that time because of the unmaintainable code that is the ADK here. So we're going to continue on and we're going to pretend like this ADK is something else because I had some rather big plans for this and that's about that. If you have some other code that you would like to show off to the world, please feel free to. I'm going to start a thread. It'll be down below and you can go ahead and link in your comments and say why you want to nominate that particular code to be the worst code ever. So that's all for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and add me to your circles on Google+. Go to plus.adamoutler.com. Until next time, hack on. <laughs>